The World Squash Federation is canceling its world championships scheduled for next week because of Malaysia's anti-Israel stance and their abject refusal to allow Israeli athletes to compete. Malaysia refuses to recognize Israel. They won't let any Israeli visit the country. It's not the first time that Malaysia has been stripped of the right to hold sports championships because of its hatred for Israel. Just two years ago, the World Para Swimming Championships was moved to London because Kuala Lumpur would not let Israelis, Israeli swimmers in. With us now is Aviv Bushinsky, the chairman of the Israel Squash Association. Aviv, thanks so much for being with me. Your reaction to the decision to cancel the World Championships? Hi, Jeff. Thank you for having me. Um... Uh, you know, it's not a joyful day, uh, though our point was right and justice has been made. But uh, we, the Israelis, and of course, uh, squash enthusiasts and the athletes wanted uh, to compete in the World Team uh, Squash Championship, which is the creme de la creme of the uh, uh, squash events uh, that is being held every se uh, uh, two years. Uh, we asked the uh, WSF, which is the World Squash uh, Federation, uh, to move the tournament from Malaysia to a country in which we're willing to have us, the Israelis, and any other country without any uh, discrimination. Unfortunately, they failed to do so. And when we asked them uh, or offered them to host the uh, world event in Israel and the guarantee that everybody will be able to uh, enter and attend the, the tournament, including the Malaysians and even the Iranians or Pakistanians, uh, they said that it is impossible. Therefore, we offer them a uh, arbitration within the facilities of the WSF. At the last minute, they declined. They tried to gain some time. And this led us to uh, the uh, last resort, which is the CAS. The CAS is the Court of Arbitration, the High Court for Sports. Uh, we filed an appeal. And uh, while filing this appeal, it uh, driven the WSF and the Malaysian to uh, withdraw and, uh, as you mentioned, to eventually to cancel the tournament. Aviv, why is Malaysia even a, an option? Why is Malaysia even a possible alternative site time and time again for world sports championships? Are you surprised by that, disappointed, confused by why Malaysia is part of this, uh, uh, you know, part of the process? Of course, first of all, as an Israeli, I am... Um, uh, I'm upset and uh, bearing in mind that uh, a couple of weeks ago we had a world gaming tournament down south in Eilat and Malaysian came and entered the country. A couple of years ago we had a, a world team squash championship for youth which was held in, uh, uh, in Namibia and Israel even played against the Malaysian. Unfortunately, the Malaysian authority, the government uh, mixed the uh, sports with politics uh, we got an official letter, not we directly, but indirectly via the uh, WSF, saying that uh, the Malaysian cannot uh, ensure our safety and well-being, as they defined it, due to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. So I think that, uh, you know, this is, so to speak, an Israeli issue, politics and sports, but I think that we set a precedence that uh, there's no room or no space for uh, discrimination, no matter what it is. It's Do you view that, Aviv, as, almost as a threat? I mean, when you have the government saying, if you come in, uh, we cannot, we, we won't be able to look out for your safety, for your well-being in the country. Is that viewed by you, by the athletes, as kind of an implicit threat? Uh, it's a good question, Jeff, because, you know, at one point we said, okay, and, and what if? And if they'll issue the visas for the Israelis, will we risk our lives and go there after such a threat? And on top of it, the uh, uh, Hamas uh, spokesman issued a uh, press release uh, praising the uh, Malaysian government for the uh, decision not to uh, uh, or to ban Israel and not to let us uh, enter the country. Uh, so yes, but uh, you know I'm quite upset not, uh, you know, the Malaysians are not that surprised. I mean, the politics in Malaysia are not that surprised. It's uh, the biggest Muslim country, I think, in the uh, Far East, or maybe even in the world. I, I'm quite upset with the others. Uh, first of all, the WSF, which is a organ that sits in uh, the UK, and they uh, were not uh, so keen or not uh, so uh, helpful, at least at the beginning, dragging us, earning time, saying that uh, things will be okay, 
Uh, and even in one point, the president of the WSF issued a letter saying that it is more important to have the games uh, since the COVID, et cetera, et cetera, despite the fact that Israel will, will, might not be able to attend. So this was really the uh, thing that uh, turned everything down and uh, we went to the uh, arbitration or to the, to court, to the judicial uh, system. Yeah. And if I may add, Jeff, I, I was quite surprised that um, uh, uh, federations, squash federations, uh, didn't uh, really uh, show a um, vocal support to our uh, fight. Only, for my surprise, Italy and Nepal. The others were very latent, very uh, quiet. And um, unfortunately, I think that uh, the uh, decision that was made now uh, will um, ensure or guarantee that in future such cases will not occur. So I think that this is our achievement. Unfortunately, uh, with a heavy price that uh, we'll not be able to play squash in yeah. uh, the next uh, year. Yeah.